Hi guys, Enrico Lopez, Mr. Frank Higa here. Show us some great judo. All right, so we're going to continue off with our Kochigari setup uh, to a different technique though. So we've been taught this in class before, uh, Uchimata, which literally turns, translates to a, it's crotch throw, literally, what it translates to. Um, now, basically Uchimata. So we stand up square, get our standard dress going. So again, I grab right below the elbow, you can grab at the wrist, at the wrist end of the sleep end. Again, I like controlling the body a little bit more, and right above the clavicle. Now, traditional Uchimata, what we do is we take our step, first step comes in. My big toe is going to point toward, my right big toe points towards my opponent's big toe. I want to roll my back, and I want to pull him up onto his toes. Back step. Now, you really want to be pushing your hips in. And like we did with our Uchimata to class, we're going to clean our leg, but we're not going to try to attack our opponent's far leg or their left leg. So we're going to try to aim for their right leg, their in far inside leg, um, but we want to miss. That's what makes it look like they're actually going for the other leg. Step in, and as you see, big toes pointing to each other. Slight bend, gets me lower. Big pull, hip step, put your hips through, and you flank. And they should fall almost directly right beneath you. If you ever think of those old westerns with the cowboy, it's the, it's the saddle, it'll cut up from underneath them. They slide right underneath them. That's kind of like Uchima. Now, for those with longer legs than some of us uh, shorter folk, your first step is going to be a little off center. You're going to still pull, still bend. But your back leg is in pivot in the middle. The pivot's far out. Right. Get you out of the way. You see, coach, he's already coming forward. And this one, he just flank and keep pulling. Then they fall into the center. Now, as far as it goes with Coach Agari, like I said, Coach Agari is a great setup book. And how we said before, use Kochigari to get the leg that you need to have. So we step, go back Kochigari, steps up, as he steps back, pull. Give a slight pull, not massive. Pull, step. And the great thing about Ujimata is, if you get stuck, I'm sure some of us have gotten to this point, where we hit our Ujimata and we're like this. We're all hopped in trying to get attack, trying to get someone thrown. You can always swing it out for that Kochi Go. Yeah. So Ujimata and Kochi Gari, just you can put right through them. Alright, that's Ujimata. 